Good evening and thank you for joining us. We begin tonight with how the world will respond to two unpredictable hot zones. NATO is calling for a coordinated response to the conflicts in Ukraine and Iraq. We'll get to the situation in Eastern Europe in a moment, but first, stemming the flow of terrorists to Iraq. Today, Britain introduced emergency measures to stop homegrown extremists from joining the fight for an Islamic State. As Stuart Greer reports, British police will have new powers to seize passports of suspected fighters. As Iraqi government and Kurdish troops retook the town of Suleiman Beck from Islamic State militants, a captured foreign fighter offered a chilling glimpse into the extremist group's global recruitment network. There are nations from all over the world here, says 23-year-old Hor Jaffer of Chechnya, from Britain, from Asia, from North America, from everywhere. We want to be martyrs. This is a message to Canada. At least 130 Canadians have joined the flood of Western fighters in Syria and Iraq. Among those waging war for the Islamic State are 700 fighters from France, 400 from Germany, and 500 come from the UK. Today, Britain took the lead in stopping suspected homegrown extremists from going abroad. By providing the police with a temporary power to seize a passport at the border, during which time they'll be able to investigate the individual concerned. Airlines will also have to hand over passenger lists so police can identify potential extremists returning home. This comes after Britain last week raised its terror alert to severe, the second highest level, warning an attack is highly likely. The Kurdish military, which is fighting the Islamist militants, says it's only a matter of time before the group tries to hit a Western target. And it's not going to be difficult to work in Europe, to work in the United States, definitely to work in the UK, and to conduct attacks, whether it be singular attacks here and there, whether it be explosions. I just think it's really possible. I'm, I'm sure it's coming. Islamist militants have reveled in their brutality, posting footage of their atrocities online. In an attempt to bring justice to the victims, the UN today said it is sending a team to Iraq to investigate allegations of war crimes. This includes targeted killings, forced conversions, abductions, slavery, sexual and physical abuse and torture. The pressure is now on Canada and other Western nations to follow Britain's lead in stemming the flow of homegrown radicals flocking to the Islamic State. And finding a new strategy to fight the extremist group will be high on the agenda when Prime Minister Harper meets other NATO leaders later this week in Wales. Robin. Stuart Greer in London. Thanks, Stu. We've posted more details about Britain's plan to seize suspected terrorist passports on our website, globalnews.ca.